Hello and welcome back to another how-to video with the Oxford Public Library. Today we will be showing you three different monarch-related activities to commemorate the travel of monarch butterflies from Canada to Mexico. The Township of Oxbridge will be celebrating the monarch's journey on August 22nd, so keep your eyes open for other butterfly-related content. The first of our three activities is a butterfly feeder using our own homemade nectar. For this project, you will need soft sponges, twine, water, some granulated sugar, a one-fourth cup, one funnel, and one spray bottle. First, to make our nectar, we're going to take about one cup of water. And we're going to mix in about one fourth a cup of granulated sugar. Once mixed, you can bring it to the stove top to fully combine the mixture by bringing it to a boil. While you let your nectar cool, here we can start making the feeder. By using our sponge and some twine, we're also going to use some scissors. We're going to take our sponge and pinch it at the end so it resembles a butterfly. Next we're going to take about two feet of string, cut it, make sure that we pinch the edge, and then wrap it together. Here I've tied all three of my sponges to one piece of string. This is going to help us hang it into the tree. Once you're ready, you can grab your squirt bottle and your funnel and pour your nectar mixture into the squirt bottle. This is going to help us apply the nectar to our feeder. Once ready, you can tie it to a tree outside. Grab your squirt bottle and squirt it directly onto the sponge. This will be the perfect landing spot for all butterflies in the area. The next project we're going to be working on is our butterfly puppets. What you will need is some white cardstock and a free printable from the Oxbridge Public Library. Here we're also going to take an orange marker, some popsicle sticks, some black pipe cleaners, black paint or a black marker will do, and some tape. Don't forget the scissors to cut it out. Before we get started, we're going to paint the body of our butterfly by painting the popsicle stick completely black. Once done, let it dry, and then you can move on to coloring your paper. Next, once we printed our printout from the Oxford Public Library's website, we're going to take our orange marker and start coloring in only the inner bits. We're going to leave all those little white dots at the end to resemble a butterfly. Of course, this is a monarch pattern, but you can also paint it whatever color you'd like. One interesting fact to tell the difference between male and female butterflies is here at one of the veins, they have these black pockets if they're male. Here we're going to mark off 
where those black pockets are. And when you're looking at your butterflies, if you see them on your feeder, you can tell now the difference between a male and a female. Once you've fully colored it in, you can start cutting it out. Once it's done, it's ready for our popsicle stick. The popsicle stick has done drying. And we're going to take about two inches of pipe cleaner and wrap it around for the antenna. Here at the top, I'm just curving down the very top to make a little ball to make it more resemble a butterfly. Once you're done, you can flip your wings over and tape down the body. And there you have it. Here we have two monarch butterfly puppets. It's really great. We have both a male and a female. For our next project, we're going to need some green paper, preferably cardstock. Then we're going to need some white, black, and orange paint. First, we're going to lay down our paper so that it is a landscape. And then we're going to take our black paint and start making a butterfly outline. This project's really fun and easy because you can make up whatever patterns you like. Add all of your colors and make something super interesting from it. So here we're going to fold our paper in half. Spread it both in two directions into the corners. And then when we open it, we should have a mirrored image. Now we're going to let this dry. Here we're also going to try it again. We're going to do the exact same process, only trying different patterns. Here I'm taking my black paint, my orange paint, and my white paint, making little dots, folding it in half, spreading it directly to the corners, and look, it's magic, a beautiful image. We're going to let this one also dry. For our last one, we're just going to do some abstract colors. We're going to fold it in half, spread to the corners, and reveal what's inside. Now that all three have dried, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut them out. Here you can either cut it out like this, or I suggest folding it in half so that you have a perfect mirror image. And it becomes therefore easy to cut both sides evenly. Once you're done cutting, you can unfold it and see your magical butterfly. All the patterns are super unique and never the same. Once again, thank you for watching, and this has been a video from the Oxbridge Public Library's YouTube channel. If you like more content like this, please come back and watch our new videos posted daily.